kind of one question about your oxytone journey, because then I do want to ask about your advice for entrepreneurs that are starting their own journeys. Yeah. Um, but uh, we've talked a lot about oxytone in context of different questions, but I'm just curious about the different stages of oxytone from your point of view, the, the challenges you faced, any moments where you doubted yourself or any moments where you knew that this was going to work. What, what what was that journey like for you um, to yeah, get to you are right. that successful point? Thank you. Thank you for using Oxytone in context because this is what it was my first company like entrepreneur mm -hmm. and all my uh, experience I, I won through my uh, adventure there in Oxytone. So for 12 years, I was working like CEO and founder, like CEO of the Oxytone and uh, from their idea, from nothing, from zero, uh, uh, we, we uh, came to commercialization, full commercialization worldwide. And recently I moved to position executive chairman. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I had a lot of experience and uh, we raised uh, $12 million through my tenure like uh, CEO. And currently we are raising the new round of investment. And I have to tell that any time, any time, uh, we're struggling with many things, what we have to do. I didn't know uh, some uh, tricks and I would say methods, how to overcome it, which I teach today to, to young entrepreneurs. And so I had to learn it from my mistakes. And again, I did a lot of mistakes uh, during my time there. And what I have to say that what's important is people, the most important, okay. most, most important than technology, more important than technology, anything else, people. And if you don't know how to hire people, I have, I developed uh, my specific questionnaire for these people. Very interesting. It could be the huge theme of the next podcast questionnaire. You will be surprised how it looks like and it works. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but people is everything, people and partners, who are your partners and who are your managers? So this is what we have to learn before we start the company. And usually people, young entrepreneur, they didn't pay attention to this stuff. They're busy. Usually they are engineers. They're busy about how to make the product, but who makes the product people. And if you hire the wrong people, if you don't know, it's called whole brain leadership, whole brain thinking. If you don't know that people's archetype surround you, you cannot manage these people. You cannot translate between them and you lose and you die like a company. 